Welcome back friends, this is Yvonne Davis, your Traveling Warrior Astrologer, and I am bringing this to you from under the stars. Happy eclipse season. It's that time of year again. It's eclipse season. This happens twice a year when we have a new moon eclipse and a full moon eclipse. So October is the month. We are having a new moon eclipse on the 14th of October and then we are having a new moon eclipse at the end of October two weeks later so I would say that honestly this is the most important month left in the year 2023 we will still have the regular new moons and full moons in November and December but nothing is going to compare to the eclipses so this is the time to really pay attention to what's happening astrologically and think about how it's impacting your life so I'm going to talk about this new moon eclipse on October 14th and before I do that I just want to make a few quick announcements the first thing is of course as always if you're new to my channel or if you've been watching for a while, double check and make sure you're subscribed. I've noticed that a lot of astrologers have been losing subscribers and not because people are unsubscribing intentionally. So double check and make sure you're subscribed and ring the bell for notifications. And of course, if you like this video, please like, share, and add your comments because that really helps my channel to grow and it helps this community to grow. The other thing I wanted to say is I am still doing my anti-inflation special. So if you're interested, just click the link in the description box below and you can get a reading. I am going to start filling up quickly because of the new year. So if you want your reading, please sign up as quickly as possible so that you can get your reading ASAP, okay? Also, if you've already ordered a reading, please email me at admin at yvondavis.com. All right, let's go on and talk about this new moon eclipse. This new moon is also an eclipse, which means that it's on the ecliptic plane. And this is actually a total new moon eclipse. So it's even more powerful because it's right along the ecliptic plane. And that makes the energy more intense. And from viewed from earth as a human being living on this planet <laughs> eclipses are considered karmic the reason they're karmic is because it's like the universe has a plan for us and the stars are helping either to tell us what that plan is or to get us in alignment or both if you're already in alignment you probably won't even feel this or if it's not impacting you personally, then you may not feel it, but most of us honestly are going to feel it simply because it's an eclipse. And also because we may not realize that we're not in alignment with our karma. And so these eclipses come along and they try to get us into alignment with our karma, which is interesting because I was just talking about the alignments, you know, like, how does the sun, moon, and earth line up? How does it line up on the ecliptic plane? That energy is so powerful when it's hitting us here on planet earth, when it's on the ecliptic plane. So it's really trying to knock us into place to get us into alignment with our karmic destiny. So if you're thinking, okay, how is this going to impact me personally? Well, let me give you a few clues. I can't tell you 100% unless you order a reading, which you know I hope you do, because I would love to meet with you and give you a personal reading. But just in general, because this is a new moon eclipse in Libra, we know that it's going to have something to do with relationships, regardless of where it lands in your chart or how it lands in your chart. There will be something about it that relates to relationships. 
it's also ruled by Venus. She rules Libra and she rules things like relationships. How we feel about other people and how we feel in relationship with other people. So when you're looking at a new moon or an eclipse in Libra, then you also want to look at what's happening with Venus right now because she is the ruler of this eclipse. So right now Venus is at five degrees of Virgo and she's been in opposition to Saturn. And there's another interesting aspect to this new moon eclipse, which is that it is squared by Pluto. And Pluto is also very karmic. Pluto has to do with issues around power, transformation, and initiation. So when you are looking at alignments that relate, that are karmic for one thing, because it's an eclipse, and that relate to both Venus and Pluto. So you know it's about relationships, even if it has something to do with other aspects of your life, but it, there's definitely something about relationships. And Venus is opposite Saturn right now. And so it's like Saturn is kind of putting the damper on what Venus normally cares about, which is love and relationships. And it's like Saturn is giving Venus this feeling like she is lonely or feeling unloved because Saturn is really putting the damper on her love nature. And so if this is true of you, if you have been feeling a little bit down or lonely or even you know sad or even angry because sometimes the way that energy like emotions manifest is if we feel sad or lonely sometimes we actually get angry or if you feel like your boundaries are being crossed that's a Pluto issue and as I said Pluto is squaring this eclipse which means it's a, it's squaring the new moon and it's also squaring the nodes it's squaring the ecliptic plane so that makes it even more karmic it's like doubly karmic and the purpose of Pluto is empowerment and transformation. So if there is any way that we have been giving our power away, it's time to take it back, okay? And to think about our relationships. How do we show up in relationships? And how do other people show up in relationships? How does that affect us, either positively or negatively? So if you find yourself in a relationship where your boundaries are being crossed, then there's some need there for thinking about how you can empower yourself in those relationships, how you can set those boundaries and say, no, this is non-negotiable. This is a non-negotiable need. This is a boundary. And, you know, it can be a deal breaker sometimes. If you have tried to negotiate that boundary with someone and they simply will not respect your boundaries, if they simply do not seem to care what your needs are and take them into consideration, it's not about demanding and it's not about being pushy or manipulative or anything like that. It's just simply knowing what you need and knowing what is non-negotiable and knowing what is a deal breaker and knowing that you have done everything in your power to negotiate with that person. There are times when we actually have to walk away. We have to end that relationship. And so just keep that in mind because as you probably know, eclipses can sometimes be about eclipsing something out of our lives. And this particular eclipse, although it is a new moon, which indicates something new being born, a new chapter of our life is opening up. Sometimes that does mean releasing something old, either releasing a relationship that's not working or changing the pattern of that relationship or releasing something inside of us, some kind of pattern inside of us that's not working. Maybe it's some core limiting belief that 
we have inside ourselves that we need to transcend and transform with that Pluto. So this is a pretty powerful new moon eclipse. It's a total new moon eclipse. It's on the south node, which indicates releasing something. It's squared by Pluto, which makes it doubly karmic. And Venus, the ruler of this eclipse, is being opposed by Saturn. So it's definitely bringing up a sense of what's not working, what's missing. Do you feel loved or do you feel lonely? And, you know, if you're feeling unloved and lonely, then you really need to ask yourself, how are you showing up in relationships? Are you showing up 100%? Are you, you know, getting in touch with people and inviting them to do things? Or if they invite you to do something, are you responding in a positive way and showing up? It's always important to take responsibility first. Sometimes, yes, there are occasions when there are the people who just can't show up the way we want them to do. Or they do cross our boundaries when we ask them not to. You know, so first and foremost, take responsibility for how you show up in relationships. Don't wait around for other people to do it. Take action. Make it happen. See how people respond to that. And then make your decisions about which relationships are working and which aren't. And make decisions about what kind of relationship patterns in you are working and which ones are not. All right, so that pretty much brings it to a close for this eclipse. Like I said, in two weeks we will have a full moon eclipse. That one will be really powerful too. But these eclipses, the new moon and the full moon this month of October, as I said, are the most important for the rest of 2023. So you really, really want to pay attention to what's happening and get into alignment so that you can have the best outcomes. If you're interested in ordering a personal reading for yourself, I'm still doing my anti-inflation special, which is a personal reading for $99. That's an hour long reading where we can explore any questions you have and important alignments coming up. So if you're interested in that, just check out the link in the description box below. And on top of that, I am giving a special gift to the first three people who order a reading this week. So go check that out if you've been wanting a reading and you'll get a special bonus gift this week. All right, so I also want to mention that if you're interested in my live Zoom meetings, I do them once or twice a month on my Patreon channel. So it's only $5 a month if you're interested and come on over to Patreon and join. The link is below. And on my Patreon channel where I did the Zoom, we talked about the charts of Fonnie Willis and Jack Smith. And I know a lot of people have been wanting to see that. But that's exclusive for my patrons. So if you're interested, go over there, check it out. For $5 a month, you can unlock that recording and you can join my live Zoom meetings in the future. Mm -hmm.